hi guys welcome back to my channel so it's been probably by the time I upload this video it will have been two weeks since I posted anything um, I've been off on vacation so as you can see I'm back to the salon today and my boxy charm arrived yesterday so um, since it's been a while since I posted and I'll likely have an ipsy bag coming soon I decided to take the box with me to work and do this unboxing for you guys here on my lunch hour so you could see what I got before it's too late in the month. Um, so let's get into it. This is the box, same as it always is. I kind of set up in a different area of the salon because it always seems really dark over there when I film in that corner. Um, so over here I'm facing a window. I thought it might be a little bit better for you guys to see. And I have like a whole bed here where I can set things down. So the box, let me know in the comments below if you like this better than over there. Um, okay, so this box, the theme is Life of the Party. So let's see. Let's dig right into this because I'm excited. I've seen some spoilers online. The thing with the spoilers is usually there's like certain items that everybody gets and then there's a few items that are different depending on which box you're looking at or who got it or what have you. Um, so I knew that I was gonna be getting this palette and I was really excited about this. So this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party, Party. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Now I was really excited to get this. I follow, I'm subscribed to Laura Lee, so these are the colors. Um, so I'm subscribed to her on YouTube. I watch her videos. I think she's hilarious. Um, so I was really excited to see this. I actually watched the video where she showed that she was just launching these palettes. There was this one and there was one that was more um, like neutral, everyday type colors. And then this was the Party Animal palette. So this palette has all your fun, bright colors. Um, so this is the first I've opened it. So I'm gonna swatch them for you guys and we'll see what they look like. Oh, I always swatch on my arm. So. The yellow is a little soft, like a little softer toned than I thought it would be. Just a second, I'm gonna grab a wipe. Of course I'm at the salon <clears throat> where I don't have any makeup wipes. Okay, so that's the yellow, the sort of teal, and then the blue. Okay, so let's swatch the other three. So there's an orange, a shimmery pink, and sort of a satin dark blue. So there's the orange, the pink. Ooh, the pink is pigmented. Okay, so looking at them up close, I think the pink is definitely the most rich toned color in there. Um, the rest of them, I would say, are gonna be more buildable, um, but I'm okay with that. I'll play around with it and see. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see a get ready with me video sometime soon. I haven't done one of those in a long time, and I've gotten a lot of sort of new stuff um, that might be fun to play with, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. So that was the Laura Lee palette. And that is valued at $19. And it says, Dare to be the life of the party with Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Six stunning shades create bold, colorful looks, leaving you ready for a night of fun. So I'm excited to give that a whirl. I don't know that it's a palette I'll get a ton of use out of, um, just because the colors are very vibrant. But it's a nice small palette. And I probably have larger palettes with bright colors in them that if this performs well, I could declutter the big ones and just have this little one. So I'm excited to give that a try. The next thing on here is House of Lashes. Um, and these are the Femme Fatale type. So those are beautiful. House of Lashes are very well known. These are valued, it says nine to $12. So probably dependent upon which ones you got. Um, so, and it says they provide up to 15 wears. So always with um, strip lashes, if you put them back in the box where they belong when you're done wearing them, you should get several uses out of them. Um, I know most of us just kind of uh, pull them off at the end of the day and 
then they stick to like the shower walls or your nightstand or some crazy thing and then they never get worn again. But if you did put them back in the box where they belong, you should get multiple uses out of them. I just wanted to touch them. Ooh, they're really soft. They're very fluffy though. These are not ones for like every day in my opinion. They're kind of a lot. So that would be really fun for like a night out or a special event or something like that. I'm sort of getting a nice little accumulation of more high-end lashes through my subscription boxes. So I really should like one of these days get out of the house and put some lashes on and see how they do. <clears throat> so the next thing, um, I believe everybody got a Smashbox lip product. Now, I think it was, I think it depended box to box what formula you got, what color you got. Okay, so I got the Be Legendary lipstick in Power On Matte. So this is a very vibrant red. And based on the name, I'm assuming that it's a matte. So I'm just going to give that a swatch. <gasps> oh, I feel like this is the red I've been looking for my whole life. All of my reds are either they're like too dark to wear in the summer or they're like too deep or too burgundy or like I haven't been able to find that really fun like summery red so I'm very excited to try that and it does look to be matte which is my preference so I'm very excited about that now that's valued between 21 and 24 dollars um, and that's that's a really nice full-size lipstick so I'm very very excited about that I feel like maybe that's the red I've been looking for all along and I do love the Smashbox lip products. I actually have, um, I have a liquid lipstick on right now that Smashbox, I think it's called Stepping Out, something like that. It's a really nice nude. And I got it, I believe in last month's Ipsy bag. So um, the next thing, so I'm go down the list, do it in order. I get all excited and I wanna get into the box. So, okay, so the next thing is the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim gold eye masks. So I have actually used these before and I love them. I got them in an Ipsy bag a few months ago and I got two packs. I think I have one left and now I have three. So I do love these. They're super fun. They're like foily gold when you put them on. You feel very bougie when you wear them. And I do notice, um, I do notice sort of a brightening effect around the eyes when I'm using them. Um, so I'm excited to have those extras of those. You can't give me too many sheet masks or too many eye masks. I love this stuff. It's so easy. We were watching, I can't remember what we were watching last night. Maybe it was Big Brother. Anyway, <clears throat> um, and we're laying on the couch and we're watching TV and at the commercials, I just got up and like put a sheet mask on and came back and watched the show and 20 minutes later, I just peeled it off my face. <laughs> I love a traditional mask, but the sheet masks are so easy. There's like no excuse. So that's great. Um, so the next thing I have here is by Bang Beauty, and this is, it says chocolate eyeliner. So let's open it up and see what this is all about. All right, so it's a gel eyeliner in the color chocolate. Looks like this. I'm at the salon, so I don't have any brushes to try it with. However, um, I have heard of the brand before. This is valued at $22. I'm not a huge fan of gel liners. I always find, I just have a hard time getting them to stay put on my face. I don't know if it's because I'm so oily um, or what it is, but I always seem to have a hard time. I had gotten the um, Pretty Vulgar um, gel liner in another boxy charm, and I've used it a few times. It goes on really nice, but I just find I get crazy raccoon eyes on the days that I've used it, which is weird because I only put it on the top lid, but it ends up all down here. So. I'll probably try this. I may gift it to someone. I haven't decided yet. Just because I have a lot of liquid liners that I love and I have a lot of pencil liners that I love that seem to stay put. So um, I may be able to give this to somebody who may be able to enjoy it more than I would or use it more than I would. So we'll see. And the last thing is by the brand Ades. Looks like this. And it is Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. It says treat your nails, treat yourself and your nails and your cuticles after a night out. So it looks like this. Lightweight, non-greasy formula uh, with vitamin E, shea, sweet almond, jojoba oil. So it sounds a lot, ingredients wise, it sounds a lot like the C&D cuticle oil that I use already. We'll just put this on. 
because you can never have too much cuticle oil. I actually don't have any at home. It's so funny because, I mean, look behind me. I have so much nail stuff. But at home, I have like one nail file and I have no cuticle oil. You know, I just keep everything here. So sometimes you're home and your cuticles get dry and it's like, ugh, I'll just put lotion on them. It's not quite the same. So that's really nice. It smells good. It's a little perfumey for my taste, but that's okay. I can always put a drop of essential oil in it if I'm not obsessed with the smell. I don't know if you guys can hear the traffic going by, but I work on a really busy street. <laughs> So that's great. I love, I actually don't think I've ever gotten like any nail products or anything like that in a BoxyCharm. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to give that a whirl. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the box this month. Um, I was talking to one of my friends who was a little underwhelmed with the box this month. Um, so far, I've been doing BoxyCharm, I'm trying to think how many months. I want to say like four or five months. Um, so I've probably gotten like four or five boxes. And so far I've been really pleased with them. This month's box is a little less exciting to me just because like I don't necessarily care to get lashes because I don't wear them all the time. And I don't necessarily care to get gel liner because it's not my favorite. But of all that all aside, I'm so excited about this lipstick and I'm excited to try this palette. And I know that I love these and you can't have too much cuticle oil. So I think even when it's slightly underwhelming, when you look at the individual items and you look at what you paid for the box, I still feel like I got my money's worth. Does that make sense? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the box that you got this month. Comment below if you did get a box and let me know, did you get the same stuff? Did you get different stuff? Um, I'd love to know. Probably some people got different Smashbox lip products. Probably some people got um, different lashes than I got. So let me know in the comments below keep me posted, um, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.